Hello everyone, today we're going to explore the sum of the first n natural numbers. You might already know the standard formula for this sum, but we're going to derive it step by step using a unique approach. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand the formula, but also see how patterns and sequences play a crucial role in mathematics. Let's dive in. Let's start with the sum of the first n natural numbers x equals 1 plus 2 plus 3, and so on up to n. This is the sum we're trying to find. The standard formula for this sum is x equals n times n plus 1, all divided by 2. But today, we're going to derive this formula using a different method. Let's proceed step by step. To explore this sum, we'll systematically subtract each term from x one at a time. This gives us the following set of equations. 1, x minus 1 equals 2 plus 3, and so on up to n. 2, x minus 2 equals 1 plus 3 plus 4, and so on up to n. 3, x minus 3 equals 1 plus 2 plus 4, and so on up to n. And so on until we have n equations in total. Now let's observe the pattern by calculating the products for small values of n. For n equals 2, x minus 1 times x minus 2 equals 2 times 1. For n equals 3, x minus 1 times x minus 2 equals 5 times 4. For n equals 4, x minus 1 times x minus 2 equals 9 times 8. For n equals 5, x minus 1 times x minus 2 equals 14 times 13. Do you see a pattern emerging? Let's dig deeper. From the products, we can identify two sequences. Sequence A equals 1, 4, 8, 13, and so on. Sequence B equals 2, 5, 9, 14, and so on. Let's analyze these sequences to find a general formula. Let's look at the differences between consecutive terms in each sequence. For sequence A, differences are 3, 4, 5, and so on. For sequence B, the differences are 2, 3, 4, and so on. These differences suggest that both sequences are quadratic in nature. Let's use this information to find general formulas for sequences A and B. Using the differences, we can write A of M equals A of 1 plus the sum of A of K from K equals 1 to M minus 1 b of m equals b of 1 plus the sum of b of k from k equals 1 to m minus 1, where a of 1 equals 1, b of 1 equals 2, a of k equals 2 plus k, b of k equals 1 plus k. Now let's compute these sums to find the general formulas. For sequence a, a of m equals 1 plus 2 times m minus 1 plus half of m minus 1 times m. Simplifying, a of m equals 1 plus 2 m minus 2 plus half of m squared minus m a of m equals 2m minus 1 plus half of m squared minus m. For sequence b, b of m equals 2 plus m minus 1 plus half of m minus 1 times m. Simplifying, b of m equals 2 plus m minus 1 plus half of m squared minus m. b of m equals 2m plus half of m squared minus m. These are the general formulas for sequences a and b. Let's start with n equals 2. x equals 1 plus 2, x minus 1 times x minus 2 equals 2 times 1. Expanding this, x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals 2. Simplifying, x squared minus 3x equals 0. x times x minus 3 equals 0. x equals 0 or x equals 3. Observe, x equals 3 plus or minus s of 1 divided by 2, where s of 1 equals 2 squared minus 1 equals 3. This gives x equals 3 plus or minus 3 divided by 2, which simplifies to 0 or 3. This matches our earlier result. From the pattern, we can generalize minus x equals 3 plus or minus s of n minus 1 divided by 2. We also found s of n minus 1 equals n squared plus n minus 3. Let's use this to find the final formula for x. Substituting s of n minus 1 into the equation, x equals 3 plus or minus n squared plus n minus 3 divided by 2. Let's consider both cases. Case 1, positive sign, x equals 3 plus s n squared plus n minus 3 divided by 2. Combine like terms, x equals n squared plus n divided by 2. Case 2, negative sign, x equals 3 minus n squared plus n minus 3 divided by 2. Distribute the negative sign, x equals 6 minus n squared minus n divided by 2. So the final simplified forms are 1 for positive case, x equals n squared plus n divided by 2. 2 for negative case, x equals 6 minus n squared minus n divided by 2. And there you have it. We've derived the formula for the sum of the first n natural numbers using a unique approach. Now let's test our formulas with n equals 4 and n equals negative 4. For n equals 4, 1, positive case, x equals 4 squared plus 4 divided by 2, which equals 10. 2, 
negative case, x equals 6 minus 4 squared minus 4 divided by 2, which equals negative 7. For n equals negative 4, 1. Positive case, x equals negative 4 squared plus negative 4 divided by 2, which equals 6. 2. Negative case, x equals 6 minus negative 4 squared minus negative 4 divided by 2, which equals negative 3. Interesting results. Let's analyze what these values mean. Let's visualize these formulas by plotting them on a graph. 1. For positive case, x equals n squared plus n divided by 2. This is a quadratic function that opens upwards with its vertex at n equals negative 0.5. 2. For negative case, x equals 6 minus n squared minus n divided by 2. This is also a quadratic function, but it opens downwards with its vertex at n equals negative 0.5. When we plot both functions, we see that they are reflections of each other, revealing interesting symmetry. That's it for today's exploration of the sum of the first n natural numbers. If you found this approach interesting, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.